Like everywhere in the world, Africa is confronting a large increase in migratory movement and the use of false identities. Incidents of fraud are multiplying and has become a veritable blight for individuals and states alike. In Africa, as elsewhere, it is necessary to give each citizen secure and forgery-proof identities. In 2009, Mozambique initiated this reform in order to create new secure documents. They called on the organization Semlex, who specialize in biometric solutions and the creation of secure documents for more than 20 years. In order to provide all citizens with secure papers, Semlex's first mission was to establish a reliable civil status. Gathering information from more than 24 million people in a country of 800,000 square kilometers is a real challenge. To do it, Semlex created 266 centers for identification spread throughout 11 provinces, allowing citizens to come and register themselves. In addition to registering information about the population, they must produce secure, high-value documents. These blank documents are made in Lithuania by Garsu Pasaulis, a printer affiliated with Semlex, specialized in the security technology embedded in documents. The control of documents is systematic and is done using the proper tools. <laughs> then they are sent to Mozambique, to the National Production Center. This is where the government agents will personalize the identity cards and passports. Along with the creation of identity cards, Semlex was charged with equipping and modernizing 37 checkpoints on the borders by setting up operational gates. At Maputo Airport, travelers can apply for a visa, also produced by Semlex. The individual's fingerprints are registered on the visa, which will also be checked when leaving the country. Today, Mozambique has given itself an essential tool for its development, knowledge, organization, security. These are the responsibilities of modern states. Concretely, this depends on the attribution of incontestable identities to individual citizens and travelers. That is a condition of good governance.